my channel. If you did not know, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, the hallmark holiday of the year. Now, I never really celebrated Valentine's Day. I've always worked and uh, my boyfriend's always worked, even though I like to tell him every year that girls like presents and I like flowers. Does he get me anything? No, he doesn't, but that's okay. I kind of just do it to be a spaz because I mean, I like to poke fun at people all the time and he's like my primary target. And I honestly have no idea why he puts up with my crap. All this to say, we are making a super easy recipe. If you thought last week was easy, this is even easier. We are making no churn vanilla ice cream. Three ingredients, less than 10 minutes to get it together, and you have delicious ice cream. You do not need an ice cream machine for this. All you need is some strength, maybe a little bit of willpower, or a KitchenAid, and, uh, and that's it. Let's talk a little bit about ingredients, a little bit about the basics of equipment, and then you guys are gonna watch me struggle and make some ice cream. So, two cups of 35% cream. I have one full can of condensed milk, so, you know, Eagle Rand or whatever you guys use. We're using the whole thing. And I've got two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now, you may be asking, Tessa, why are you using vanilla extract instead of a vanilla bean? Aren't you a trained cook, chef, whatever, don't call me chef. I am, and I have a very, very simple answer for you. I'm not bougie enough to use the vanilla bean. They are so expensive right now, so just use some vanilla extract. It works just as well. If you wanna get the beans, absolutely go for it. It gives it that nice speckled look, super cute. But for the most part, vanilla extract. Come on, man. Like, you don't have a bajillion dollars to spend on food. So I just grab some vanilla extract, okay? Uh, as far as equipment goes, if you haven't figured out what's about to happen, I'm whisking some cream. So I got a whisk and my stainless steel bowl. And then I've got a rubber spatula. I'm gonna use a nine by 13 uh, baking dish just to set it in. For process, well, it's very straightforward. I'm gonna take my cream, I'm gonna whisk it to stiff peaks, and then I'm gonna fold in my condensed milk and my vanilla extract, and then I'm gonna fire it in the freezer. You can do it in the KitchenAid. You can do it with the little hand blender, the brrrr. You can use that to whip your cream. You don't have to do it by hand, but if you have children and they really want some ice cream, you can make them whip it by hand, and they might not want it by the end because they'll be so tired, and then you get ice cream. So I mean, really, this is the interactive way. That being said, I guess we're gonna get into it. I'm just gonna put my hair up real quick because you don't wanna get hair in anybody's food. And I know for a fact that if I did this without putting my hair up, one of my old chefs would be like, Tessa, what the f put your hair up? You're trained, you know what you're doing. I'm doing it, putting my hair up. Don't worry, everybody, everybody chill out. Oh, cream. Okay, and um, I'll see you guys in five minutes while you get to watch me struggle. <sighs> Hydration break. We used to make people do this all the time and like whisk their cream from scratch and I would be like, guys, it's fine, don't worry about it. Meanwhile, I would be like, internally, because I was making them whisk cream. And uh, today's the day they get revenge on me. All right, so I have whisked our whipped cream to soft peaks. I think I said stiff peaks earlier, I lied. I meant soft peaks. I am getting rid of this because I, that's my cardio for like the week, okay? We're gonna grab our spatula. Whole can of condensed milk. And now we fold. Folding. You wanna take your spatula, scrape the bottom end, pull over, okay? Don't whisk this in because you will flatten the cream. 
So under, over. Once it's all mixed in and you have no more streaks, we add in our extract. That's it, grab your dish. I put nothing at the bottom of this dish. I didn't put any parchment, I didn't put any saran wrap. Um, there's no point. You're gonna be eating it out of here anyway. So, kind of level it off like that. And that's all she wrote. So I'm gonna fire this in the freezer, probably let it sit for about an hour, and then we'll be back, and uh, we're gonna try it. All right. And we're back. My ice cream is set. I said it would take an hour. It took more like an hour and a half. So, if you guys pay attention to when I scoop, you'll see that it's, ta-da, oh man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you guys see how that's like gliding? Boom, done, ta-da! Soft serve ice cream. So, this is just the base recipe. You can do whatever you want to it. If you wanna put hot hearts in here, go for it. You like chocolate bars? Put some Kit Kat bars in there, or coffee crisp. Literally whatever you want, so versatile, so easy, and so delicious. Put in my bark on top. And some berries, cause you gotta have your berries. Antioxidants, here I come, or something. And that's it. Y'all, I'm so excited, so I'm gonna show you this real quick, and I'm gonna eat it. That bark though, that bark is delicious with this. Oh my God. You need to make a quick little dessert for your significant other for Valentine's Day? Do this, make some ice cream real quick. Don't tell them it's no churn so you can be like, babe, uh, I made you ice cream from scratch and I've been slaving all day. Don't tell them there's three ingredients. They don't need to know, that's our secret. That's your trick now. Keep it in your back pocket. Well, that's it, guys. So leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below if there's something you want to see me do. And uh, maybe subscribe to my channel if you're feeling extra nice. I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye. You like vanilla growing forest land? I don't know. Um, did a child fall down the well? Ah!